Well, we're building a sauna. But before building a sauna, which is happening in this shed, we had to first remove the wall of the shed so that we could repair the backside of the garage because it was rotted from old LP siding that grew mushrooms. We had a, a whole wall full of mushrooms here. Pretty impressive. Okay, so now I have to make a little jig so that each uh, siding board overlaps the board below it by an inch and a half. So I've got some angle iron here and I'm gonna cut it into some flat strips and bend it in the right place and we'll see if that works. So now I've got two of these guys, and I can go show you how they work. So you put one on one end, and then you put the other one down at the other end, and then the next board just sits right here and has the perfect overlap. Okay, can you hold that? Oh, it, it just Ooh. jumped off. Mm. Yeah. A little one goes down, right? A little one goes... Hanging. Hang, hangs, yeah. Oh boy, it's not really. Doesn't want to, but let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Um. Yeah, there's a little bit of sag. Hands nailed in. Oh shoot. Yeah. yeah. Too soon. <laughs> can't, can't get it out. Oh shit. Um. How does that work? Well, put one nail in and then maybe pull it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's not working that great, is it? No, it's not. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this one in the middle to take care of that sag. this stuff is um, it's hardy plank uh, it's a cement board cement fiber board uh, you could use a saw blade on it but it creates a lot of dust it's really bad to breathe in you could wear a mask uh, and it goes through saw blades pretty quick so there's other ways to cut it and what I'm using is the scoring tool which is pretty sharp and it's designed for uh, designed for cement fiber board you go over it a few times I already went over it on the other side as well. And then. Look at that. It's the final details. So excited. <laughs>